Hey, hi, hello, friends, and welcome to another Disney Dreamlight Valley video. Today, I am going to be giving you five helpful tips on what not to do in Disney Dreamlight Valley. And these are just suggestions. I'm in no way telling you how to play the game. You should always play games how you would prefer to and what gives you the most joy. So please just take these tips or suggestions with a grain of salt because I'm not trying to tell you how to play the game. To start off with, the first thing that you should absolutely not do is time travel. Now, this is something that is very common in games like Animal Crossing because they help you progress days or progress quest lines. And in this game, it absolutely does not do that. The only thing that time traveling helps with in this game is breaking your save file. So instead, I suggest going into your settings, going down to controls, and offset your time of day. And you can offset it earlier, or you can offset it later, depending on your preference. Now, I'm going to offset it a little bit earlier because it is getting to be evening here, and I want y'all to be able to see everything during the day. So we're going to offset it so it's a little bit brighter outside. Now, offsetting the time of day in this game does not do anything besides make things more aesthetically pleasing for what you are trying to do. So if you can normally play at nighttime but want to play during the day, you can offset the time of day to be the morning or during the day, but it does not do anything for the quests or for helping progress wonder where they progress the storyline or you know progress anything else that you're actually doing in the game. My second little suggestion is to not turn your dream shards into dream light. And the reason behind that suggestion is because there are quests where you are going to need these dream shards in order to progress certain character quest lines. Now, if you have as much dream shards as I do and you've been hoarding them since the beginning of time, and you have them to spare, then at that point, you can do whatever you want with them. Now, I personally have all of my characters leveled up, my own characters leveled up. I don't have any more quest lines with anybody. I decided that I didn't want to hoard these anymore, then I absolutely would turn these into Dreamlight. But to be honest, I have 102,000 Dreamlight currently, so that's not something that I'm looking to do. It's not something that I need to do, so I'm probably just going to hold on to those in case more quest lines need them or in case one day I run out of Dreamlight and then we can convert things over. But when you're just starting off, I don't suggest automatically turning these into Dreamlight because again, you will need these for some quests and some character progression. Speaking of hoarding, this leads me to my third suggestion and that is to not sell any of your materials or items and just to hoard everything right off the bat. Now I know when you're first starting this game it is very easy to run out of money especially when you don't have those high selling vegetables like pumpkins or you don't have biomes open to plant canola or any other vegetables that might get you the most amount of money. Um, so selling items is probably a good idea at first, but then I do suggest starting to hoard things because there are character quests that require you to have a ridiculous amount of certain materials. Um, specifically, one of Minnie's quest quests are to collect 200 clay for her, which I think is absolutely outrageous, but... If you hoard from the beginning, you'll have all of these items when quests pop up and you won't have to grind for them and waste time during your gameplay. While we're in our house, my next suggestion is to not waste money upgrading and expanding your house. So I have nine floors currently and the reason why i have nine floors was because i was just trying to finish my dreamlight duty 
for, I don't actually even remember, upgrade your house. And I think there was a dreamlight duty to have like X amount of um, rooms in your house. And that's the only reason why I upgraded my house as much as I did. Unless you are a decorating fanatic and have decorated all of the rooms that you absolutely can, there is no reason to continuously expand your home. Because as you expand, it gets more and more expensive. As you can see, after nine floors, it is 77,700 coins just to add a 10th floor. And as far as I know, there's an unlimited number of floors and it gets more expensive as you add floors. So again, unless you really like decorating and you've decorated every single floor in your house, I recommend not wasting your money on expanding your house unless you're trying to get that dream light duty of completing X amount of floors or X amount of rooms. Now my last tip or suggestion for this video is going to be to not fill your entire valley with farm plots. And the reason why I'm saying this is because for those of you who like decorating, the holes for farm plots are considered items when you look, go into your furniture tab and you see in the top right corner, the top number, the 394 out of 600 is unique items. The bottom number, 2,633 out of 3,000, that is a total number of items and holes are included in that number. So if you have a huge farm plot or if you just have farm plots literally everywhere around your valley, it is going to increase that total number of items and when you go to start decorating your valley, you're not going to be able to place any items down because of it. So if you don't care about decorating, then having a ton of farm plots is not an issue. But if you do care about decorating, I would suggest getting rid of a lot of your farm plots, especially if you have a lot of money, because they're not necessary unless you're using them for certain decoration areas. But that's it for today. That's all I have for you. It's just five suggestions on what I think could help those of you who are either just starting off or for those of you who might not have an idea of what to expect. But that's it, friends. Make sure to leave a comment if this helped you at all. Or if you enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.